everyone, Becca here with the Glacier Institute again. Today we have a super fun activity to help you guys explore the natural world around us. So we're out here hanging out at one of our local streams. Uh, and what we're going to be talking about today is aquatic macroinvertebrates. So I know that's kind of a weird word, but all it means is aquatic insects. We're looking for bugs today. Really simple activity. You can do this whenever you're at a lake, a stream, a creek, anywhere when you're around water. You're going to find some of these guys hanging out. So why do we care so much about these aquatic insects? Well, one thing is that they can tell us a lot about the health of our water system. And so here in the Flathead Valley, the majority of our drinking water comes from surface water. So things like lakes, streams, and rivers. And we want to be drinking really healthy water. These bugs can tell us if it's healthy or not. Another really cool thing is that if you're a fly fisherman or any sort of fisher man or woman, uh, you're always going to be trying to match the hatch. And so you want to know what bugs are in your water because that's what the fish are eating and you want the fish to bite on your line. So that's another really important thing. And then another awesome fact is that 96% of all known animals, so anywhere from your dolphins in the ocean to your cheetahs over in Africa, or maybe the grizzly bears up in Alaska, 96% of every single known animal is an invertebrate. It's a huge majority of our known organisms. So they're everywhere around us. They're super cool organisms, and we're gonna show you how to find them and identify them super easily. So it's super easy for you guys to do this at home. All you really need is some sort of Tupperware, works really well, something to put your bugs in once you find them. Uh, if you have some sort of net or strainer laying around, that can be really helpful as well. And then if you have a magnifying glass, remember we made our own magnifying glasses in our last video, you can go ahead and use that to get up close and personal with these guys. Another really helpful thing to have with you is a hand warmer. Our water is really cold around here, so once you're done, touching all the rocks and put your hands in the water. This can really help you warm up your fingers. So all you gotta do, get to your lake, get to your creek, river, wherever you're at, and just get down and start flipping rocks over. You pick them up, you wanna look at the underside, look at all the different sides of the rock. You might see some crawling around. They really like to attach and hang on. They're underneath the substrate sometimes to kind of get in there and dig. But it's really important that you make sure you put these rocks back exactly where you found them once you're done. We don't want to disturb these guys' habitat. They're really important for our ecosystem, so we want to be really respectful, all right? Once you've dug around, you've found a bunch of bugs in the water, you can put them in your Tupperware so that you can look at them a lot closer. Make sure that you keep them underwater at all times. They're aquatic, right? So they're like fish. They need water to breathe, so we want to make sure they're always submerged in water. Okay, guys, so I've been out here flipping rocks for quite a while now, and I've come up with some really awesome specimens. The first really cool one that we've got, we actually caught a sculpin, which is a little tiny fish. Um, he's okay to be in here. He's small enough. He'll be okay for a little while. But if you ever do happen to catch a bigger fish like a trout, you want to make sure that you put those guys back right away. They won't do too hot in a small container like this. Um, so the sculpin is really cool. He's kind of more of like a bottom dwelling fish. Uh, he hangs out in the substrate. And then we've got some of these awesome aquatic macroinvertebrates here. So right here we've got a mayfly and a stonefly. They're swimming around, hanging out. Uh, these guys are super neat. If you ever find either a mayfly, a stonefly, or a caddisfly, you know that the water system that you're at is a really, really healthy water system. These guys can't tolerate too much pollution. They need high oxygen content. Uh, so these are really good indicator species that tell you that you've got a really healthy and clean water body. So, you know, you're gonna find lots of different things at lots of different types of water bodies. You know, they might not look like this all the time, but there's a lot of really awesome online resources that you can use to identify some of these guys. But yeah, I just encourage everyone to get out there, get exploring and uh, stay curious. Thank you for tuning in guys. I hope this helps you get out there, get a little curious, start exploring the natural world around you. We're gonna go ahead and put our specimens back, right? You wanna make sure that whenever you're done, you release these guys back to where you found them. Cause again, they're really important for ecosystems. We don't wanna kill them. And so we're just gonna gently put them in the water. Make sure if you're using a Tupperware, take a little bit of water, swish it around and get everyone out so that you're not having anybody stick around. All right, thank you guys so much. Stay safe respect wildlife, and stay curious.